Prelude. Understanding the Power of Emotions. Welcome to Mastering Your Emotions, a journey into the heart of what makes us human. Emotions are often misunderstood and underestimated, yet they play a crucial role in every aspect of our lives. They are not just fleeting feelings but powerful forces that shape our decisions, influence our relationships, and impact our overall well-being. Think about the last major decision you made. Whether it was choosing a career path, resolving a conflict, or even deciding what to eat for dinner, emotions likely played a significant role in your choice. Our emotions serve as internal compasses, guiding us through the complexities of life. They alert us to potential dangers, draw us toward pleasurable experiences, and signal when something feels off. In essence, emotions are integral to our survival and our ability to thrive. However, emotions can also be overwhelming and, at times, seem uncontrollable. Have you ever found yourself in a situation where your emotions got the better of you? Perhaps you reacted in anger and said something you later regretted, or maybe anxiety kept you from pursuing a valuable opportunity. These instances highlight the importance of understanding and mastering our emotions. This book is designed to help you navigate your emotional landscape more effectively. By delving into the science of emotions, you will gain a deeper understanding of why you feel the way you do. You'll learn about the brain's role in emotional processing, the impact of neurotransmitters and hormones, and the evolutionary purposes behind our emotional responses. But knowledge alone is not enough. Mastering your emotions requires practical skills and strategies that you can apply in your daily life. Throughout this book, you'll discover techniques for building emotional self-awareness, regulating your emotions, and developing resilience. You'll learn how to cultivate empathy and social awareness to enhance your relationships and maintain emotional balance even in the face of life's challenges. Imagine a life where you are in control of your emotions, rather than being controlled by them. Picture yourself responding to stressful situations with calm and clarity, building deeper connections with those around you, and making decisions that align with your true values and goals. This is the life that mastering your emotions can lead to, a life of fulfillment, balance, and success. As you embark on this journey, remember that emotional mastery is not about suppressing your feelings or striving for a constant state of happiness. It is about developing a healthy relationship with your emotions, understanding their messages, and using them to guide your actions in a positive direction. It is a continuous process of learning, growth, and self-discovery. In the chapters that follow, we will explore a range of techniques and insights to help you gain control over your emotional landscape. You will learn to harness the power of your emotions to achieve both personal and professional success. Whether you are seeking to improve your mental health, enhance your relationships, or increase your overall well-being, this book will provide you with the tools you need. So, take a deep breath and prepare to dive into the fascinating world of emotions. Embrace this journey with an open mind and a willingness to grow. By mastering your emotions, you can unlock your true potential and create a more fulfilling and balanced life. Let's begin. Chapter 1. The Science of Emotions Emotions are central to our human experience, influencing how we think, act, and interact with the world around us. To truly understand our emotions, it's essential to explore their biological and psychological foundations. The brain, a complex organ, plays a crucial role in emotional processing, with various chemicals and neural pathways working together to create our emotional experiences. In this chapter, we will explore how specific brain structures contribute to emotional regulation. We'll look at how neurotransmitters and hormones like serotonin, dopamine, and cortisol impact our mood and emotional states. Additionally, we will examine the evolutionary reasons behind our emotional responses, shedding light on how our emotions have developed to help us survive and thrive. By gaining a deeper understanding of the science behind emotions, you'll be better equipped to recognize and manage your own emotional responses. This knowledge sets the stage for the practical strategies we'll discuss in later chapters, beginning with building emotional self-awareness. Emotional Brain Structures Exploring the brain's emotional centers, the amygdala, hippocampus, and prefrontal cortex. 
To understand how we experience and regulate emotions, we must first explore the brain's intricate structures. Three key regions play significant roles in our emotional responses, the amygdala, the hippocampus, and the prefrontal cortex. Each of these areas has unique functions and contributes to the complex process of emotional regulation. The amygdala, the emotional alarm system. The amygdala, a small, almond-shaped cluster of nuclei located deep within the temporal lobes, is often referred to as the brain's emotional alarm system. It is crucial for processing emotions, particularly those related to survival, such as fear and anger. The amygdala evaluates sensory information and rapidly determines its emotional significance. For example, when you encounter a threatening situation, the amygdala activates the fight or flight response, preparing your body to react quickly to danger. Beyond fear, the amygdala is involved in the formation and retrieval of emotional memories. It helps us remember emotionally charged events more vividly, which can be adaptive by keeping us alert to potential threats. However, overactivity in the amygdala can contribute to anxiety disorders, where the brain perceives danger even in safe situations. The hippocampus, the memory center. The hippocampus, located in the medial temporal lobe, works closely with the amygdala to process emotions. While the amygdala is responsible for the emotional intensity of memories, the hippocampus provides context by encoding and retrieving the factual details of experiences. This collaboration between the amygdala and hippocampus allows us to recall not just how we felt during an event, but also the specific circumstances surrounding it. The hippocampus is essential for forming new memories and connecting them with emotions. It plays a pivotal role in learning by helping us understand how past experiences influence current emotional responses. For instance, if a particular song made you happy during a memorable event, hearing that song again can evoke similar feelings of joy. However, the hippocampus is sensitive to stress. Chronic stress can impair its function, leading to difficulties in forming new memories and exacerbating conditions like depression and post-traumatic stress disorder, PTSD. Maintaining a healthy hippocampus is vital for emotional resilience and overall mental health. The prefrontal cortex, the executive control center. The prefrontal cortex, PFC, located at the front of the brain, is involved in complex cognitive functions such as decision-making, problem-solving, and impulse control. It also plays a critical role in regulating emotions by exerting top-down control over the more primitive emotional responses generated by the amygdala. The PFC helps us assess situations, plan appropriate responses, and inhibit impulsive reactions. When functioning optimally, the PFC allows us to evaluate the consequences of our actions, consider alternative outcomes, and choose behaviors that align with our long-term goals. This executive control is essential for managing emotions in social interactions, professional settings, and personal relationships. Research shows that practices like mindfulness meditation can enhance PFC activity, improving emotional regulation and reducing stress. However, factors such as sleep deprivation, substance abuse, and chronic stress can impair PFC function, leading to poor decision-making and increased emotional reactivity. Interconnected Systems, a Harmonious Balance The amygdala, hippocampus, and prefrontal cortex do not operate in isolation. They are part of an interconnected network that continuously communicates and balances emotional and cognitive processes. This dynamic interplay allows us to respond to our environment with flexibility and adaptability. For instance, when faced with a stressful situation, the amygdala might trigger an initial emotional reaction. The PFC then assesses the situation and decides whether the response is appropriate, while the hippocampus recalls past experiences to provide context. This integrated process ensures that our emotional responses are not only swift but also informed and regulated. Understanding the roles of these brain regions in emotional regulation can empower us to develop strategies for improving our emotional health. By nurturing a healthy brain through practices like mindfulness, regular physical activity, and stress management, we can enhance our ability to navigate life's emotional challenges with greater resilience and clarity. The Chemical Symphony of Emotions 
The Role of Neurotransmitters and Hormones in Emotional Regulation Our emotions are not solely the product of brain structures and neural pathways. They are also profoundly influenced by the delicate balance of chemicals within our brains and bodies. Neurotransmitters and hormones act as chemical messengers, playing a crucial role in regulating our mood and emotional states. Understanding how these chemicals function can provide valuable insights into the biological basis of our emotions. Serotonin, the mood stabilizer. Serotonin is often referred to as the feel-good neurotransmitter. It is primarily found in the brain, intestines, and blood platelets. Serotonin helps regulate mood, appetite, and sleep, and it also plays a role in cognitive functions such as memory and learning. Low levels of serotonin are associated with mood disorders like depression and anxiety. When serotonin levels are balanced, we tend to feel calm, stable, and satisfied. This is why selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors, SSRIs, a class of antidepressants, are commonly prescribed to increase serotonin levels in the brain. These medications work by blocking the reabsorption, reuptake of serotonin into neurons, making more serotonin available to improve transmission of messages between neurons. Beyond medication, lifestyle factors such as diet and exercise can also influence serotonin levels. Foods rich in tryptophan, an amino acid precursor to serotonin, can help boost its production. Regular physical activity has been shown to enhance serotonin release and improve mood. Dopamine, the reward chemical. Dopamine is another critical neurotransmitter that significantly impacts our emotions. Known as the reward chemical, dopamine is associated with the brain's pleasure and reward system. It is released during pleasurable situations and stimulates feelings of enjoyment and reinforcement, motivating us to repeat certain behaviors. Dopamine plays a vital role in motivation, focus, and productivity. It is involved in goal-directed behavior, helping us to pursue and achieve objectives that bring us satisfaction. However, an imbalance in dopamine levels can lead to various psychological issues. For instance, too much dopamine is linked to impulsive behavior and addiction, while too little dopamine is associated with lack of motivation and conditions like Parkinson's disease and depression. Activities that can naturally boost dopamine levels include setting and achieving small goals, engaging in physical exercise, and participating in activities that are inherently enjoyable, such as listening to music, creative arts, and social interactions. Cortisol, the stress hormone. Cortisol is a hormone produced by the adrenal glands in response to stress. It is often referred to as the stress hormone because it is released during the body's fight-or-flight response to a perceived threat. While cortisol is essential for survival, helping to manage stress and regulate metabolism, chronic high levels of cortisol can have detrimental effects on our health and emotional well-being. Prolonged exposure to elevated cortisol levels can lead to various problems, including anxiety, depression, digestive issues, and impaired cognitive performance. It can also disrupt sleep patterns and weaken the immune system, making us more susceptible to illnesses. Effective stress management is crucial for maintaining healthy cortisol levels. Practices such as mindfulness meditation, deep breathing exercises, regular physical activity, and adequate sleep can help lower cortisol levels and mitigate the negative effects of stress. Additionally, Building strong social connections and seeking support during stressful times can provide emotional relief and reduce cortisol production. The Interplay of Neurotransmitters and Hormones The complex interplay between neurotransmitters and hormones creates a dynamic chemical environment that shapes our emotional experiences. These chemicals do not operate in isolation. Rather, they interact with each other and with various brain regions to regulate our mood and behavior. For example, serotonin and dopamine often work in tandem to balance our emotional responses. While dopamine drives motivation and reward-seeking behavior, serotonin helps to stabilize mood and promote feelings of well-being. Similarly, cortisol interacts with neurotransmitters like serotonin and dopamine, influencing how we respond to stress and emotional challenges. Understanding the roles of these chemicals can empower us to take proactive steps towards emotional regulation. 
By adopting healthy lifestyle habits, managing stress, and seeking appropriate medical support when necessary, we can optimize our brain chemistry and improve our overall emotional health. The Evolutionary Blueprint of Emotions How Emotions Evolved to Aid Survival and Thriving Emotions are deeply rooted in our evolutionary history. They have developed over millions of years to help our ancestors survive and thrive in a complex and often dangerous world. Understanding the evolutionary perspective on emotions allows us to see how these powerful responses have been shaped by natural selection to promote adaptive behaviors and enhance our chances of survival. The Origins of Fear and Survival Instincts One of the most primal emotions, fear, is essential for survival. Early humans faced numerous threats, from predators to environmental hazards. Fear triggered the fight-or-flight response, a rapid and automatic reaction to danger that prepared the body to either confront the threat or escape from it. This response involves a surge of adrenaline, increased heart rate, and heightened alertness, all of which are crucial for immediate action. The amygdala, a key brain structure involved in processing fear, has been instrumental in the survival mechanism. By quickly assessing potential dangers and initiating appropriate responses, the amygdala has helped our ancestors avoid life-threatening situations. This evolutionary advantage ensured that those with a heightened sense of fear and quick reactions were more likely to survive and pass on their genes. Joy and Social Bonding While fear helps us avoid danger, emotions like joy and happiness play a significant role in social bonding and cooperation. Humans are inherently social creatures, and our survival has often depended on forming strong social connections and working together as a group. Positive emotions reinforce these bonds, encouraging behaviors that promote group cohesion and mutual support. Oxytocin, often referred to as the love hormone, is a key player in fostering social bonds. It is released during activities such as hugging, touching, and other forms of physical closeness, as well as during childbirth and breastfeeding. Oxytocin promotes feelings of trust and attachment, strengthening relationships and encouraging cooperation. In our evolutionary past, strong social networks would have provided protection, resources, and support, all of which are vital for survival. Anger and Defense Mechanisms Anger is another emotion with deep evolutionary roots. It is a response to perceived threats or injustices, motivating individuals to confront and address challenges. In the context of early human societies, anger could mobilize energy and focus for defense against predators, rivals, or social transgressions. The fight-or-flight response is not limited to fear. It also plays a role in anger. When faced with a threat to their safety or social standing, early humans needed to be able to defend themselves and their resources. Anger, therefore, served as a catalyst for protective and corrective actions, ensuring that individuals and their kin could maintain their place within the social hierarchy and secure their survival. Sadness and Healing Sadness and grief may seem less adaptive at first glance, but these emotions also have important evolutionary functions. Sadness often follows loss, whether of a loved one, a social connection, or a critical resource. This emotion can signal to others that an individual needs support and help, fostering empathy and care within a community. Grief allows for the processing of loss and the recalibration of emotional and social bonds. It can lead to deeper social connections as others provide comfort and assistance during difficult times. This communal support enhances the resilience and stability of the group, promoting overall survival. Disgust and Avoidance of Harm Disgust is a powerful emotion that protects us from harmful substances and pathogens. Early humans needed to avoid spoiled food, contaminated water, and other sources of disease. Disgust triggers an immediate aversion to things that could cause harm, such as decaying matter or bodily fluids, which are potential sources of infection. This emotion likely evolved as a protective mechanism, steering individuals away from potentially life-threatening contaminants. By adhering to the cues provided by disgust, our ancestors reduced their exposure to harmful pathogens, thereby increasing their chances of survival and reproductive success. The Adaptability of Emotions While emotions have clear evolutionary origins, 
their expression and regulation are highly adaptable. Humans have developed sophisticated ways of managing and utilizing their emotions to navigate the complexities of modern life. Cultural norms, social learning, and individual experiences all shape how we perceive and respond to our emotions. Understanding the evolutionary basis of emotions helps us appreciate their significance and purpose. Emotions are not random or irrational. They are deeply embedded in our biology, serving functions that have been honed over millennia. By recognizing this, we can better manage our emotional responses, aligning them with contemporary challenges and opportunities. Conclusion The Foundation of Emotional Understanding As we conclude our exploration of the science of emotions, it's clear that our emotional experiences are deeply rooted in both our biology and our evolutionary history. This chapter has provided a comprehensive overview of how various brain structures, neurotransmitters, hormones, and evolutionary processes shape our emotional lives. By understanding these scientific concepts, we gain valuable insights into why we feel the way we do and how we can better manage our emotions. Key Scientific Concepts Revisited we began our journey by examining the brain's role in emotional processing. Key brain regions such as the amygdala, hippocampus, and prefrontal cortex play pivotal roles in regulating our emotions. The amygdala acts as an emotional alarm system, quickly assessing threats and triggering appropriate responses. The hippocampus works in tandem with the amygdala to encode and retrieve emotional memories, providing context to our experiences. The prefrontal cortex, with its executive control functions, helps us manage our emotional responses, making thoughtful decisions rather than reacting impulsively. Next, we explored the vital roles of neurotransmitters and hormones in shaping our mood and emotional states. Serotonin, the mood stabilizer, helps regulate feelings of well-being and balance. Dopamine, the reward chemical, drives motivation and pleasure reinforcing behaviors that lead to satisfaction and achievement. Cortisol, the stress hormone, prepares us to face challenges but requires careful management to avoid the detrimental effects of chronic stress. Finally, we looked at the evolutionary perspective on emotions, understanding how these powerful responses have evolved to aid our survival and thriving. Fear, joy, anger, sadness, and discussed each have distinct evolutionary functions that have helped our ancestors navigate a dangerous and complex world. These emotions guided behaviors essential for survival, such as avoiding threats, forming social bonds, defending against rivals, processing loss, and avoiding harmful substances. Applying this knowledge With a solid foundation in the science of emotions, we are now better equipped to navigate our own emotional landscapes. This knowledge is not just academic, it has practical applications that can enhance our daily lives. By recognizing the biological and evolutionary underpinnings of our emotions, we can develop strategies to manage them more effectively. For instance, understanding the role of the prefrontal cortex in emotional regulation highlights the importance of practices that enhance its function, such as mindfulness meditation and regular physical exercise. Knowing how serotonin and dopamine influence our mood can guide us in making lifestyle choices that promote emotional well-being, such as maintaining a healthy diet, engaging in enjoyable activities, and setting achievable goals. Moreover, appreciating the evolutionary roots of our emotions can foster greater self-compassion and empathy. Recognizing that our emotional responses have developed over millennia to protect and guide us can help us view them with acceptance rather than judgment. This perspective encourages us to listen to our emotions, understand their messages, and respond in ways that align with our values and goals. Looking ahead, building emotional self-awareness. As we move forward to the next chapter, we will build on this scientific foundation to explore the concept of emotional self-awareness. Understanding the biological and evolutionary basis of our emotions is a crucial first step but applying this knowledge to our daily lives requires a deeper awareness of our own emotional experiences. Emotional self-awareness involves recognizing and understanding our emotions as they arise, identifying their triggers, and reflecting on how they influence our thoughts and behaviors. 
It is a key component of emotional intelligence and a critical skill for personal growth and emotional regulation. In the upcoming chapter, we will delve into practical strategies for developing emotional self-awareness. We will explore techniques for identifying and labeling emotions, understanding emotional triggers, and engaging in self-reflection. By cultivating emotional self-awareness, we can gain greater control over our emotional responses, enhance our relationships, and achieve a more balanced and fulfilling life. The Journey of Emotional Mastery Mastering your emotions is a journey that begins with understanding. This chapter has laid the groundwork by providing insights into the science of emotions, illuminating the intricate interplay of brain structures, chemicals, and evolutionary processes. As we continue this journey, we will build on this foundation, developing the skills and strategies needed to navigate our emotional landscapes with confidence and clarity. Remember, the goal of mastering your emotions is not to eliminate them, but to understand and harness their power. Emotions are an integral part of what makes us human, guiding us through life's challenges and opportunities. By embracing this journey of emotional mastery, you are taking a significant step towards a more empowered, resilient, and fulfilling life. Let's continue this exploration together, as we move into the next chapter focused on building emotional self-awareness. Chapter 2 Building Emotional Self-Awareness Emotional self-awareness is the cornerstone of emotional intelligence and a vital step towards mastering your emotions. It involves the ability to recognize and understand your own emotions as they occur, providing a deeper insight into how they influence your thoughts, behaviors, and interactions. By becoming more self-aware, you can better navigate the complexities of your emotional landscape, leading to enhanced personal growth and more effective emotional regulation. The significance of emotional self-awareness cannot be overstated. It acts as a foundation for other aspects of emotional intelligence, such as self-regulation, empathy, and social skills. When you are attuned to your own emotions, you are more capable of managing them in a healthy and constructive manner. This awareness enables you to respond thoughtfully to emotional triggers rather than reacting impulsively, reducing the likelihood of conflicts and misunderstandings. Emotional self-awareness also plays a critical role in personal growth. By understanding your emotional patterns and triggers, you can identify areas for improvement and make conscious efforts to develop healthier emotional responses. This process of self-discovery and growth fosters resilience, enhances well-being, and contributes to a more fulfilling and balanced life. In this chapter, we will explore practical techniques and strategies for building emotional self-awareness. We will begin with methods to accurately identify and label your emotions as they arise. Next, we will delve into the concept of emotional triggers, helping you understand the factors that provoke your emotional responses, including past experiences and current stressors. Finally, we will discuss various self-reflection practices that can be incorporated into your daily routine to enhance your emotional awareness. By the end of this chapter, you will have a toolkit of strategies to help you become more attuned to your emotions, paving the way for greater emotional mastery. Understanding and recognizing your emotions is the first step on this journey, setting the stage for the subsequent chapters where we will explore techniques for effective emotional regulation and resilience. Let's begin this exploration into the depths of your emotional self, unlocking the potential for a more conscious and empowered life. Identifying Emotions the Art of Emotional Labeling The Art of Emotional Labeling Accurately identifying and labeling your emotions is a critical skill in developing emotional self-awareness. This practice allows you to understand and articulate your feelings, which is the first step toward managing them effectively. By becoming adept at recognizing your emotions as they arise, you can gain greater control over your responses and improve your emotional intelligence. The Benefits of Emotional Labeling Understanding and labeling your emotions provides numerous benefits. It can reduce the intensity of negative feelings, as simply naming an emotion can have a calming effect on the brain. Additionally, it helps you communicate your feelings more clearly to others, fostering better relationships and reducing misunderstandings. Techniques for Identifying and Labeling Emotions 1. Pause and Reflect 
One of the simplest yet most effective techniques for identifying emotions is to pause and take a moment to reflect on what you're feeling. When you encounter a situation that triggers an emotional response, give yourself a few seconds to pause before reacting. During this pause, ask yourself, What am I feeling right now? Where in my body do I sense this emotion? What thoughts or images come to mind with this feeling? This brief moment of reflection can help you become more aware of your emotions and avoid impulsive reactions. 2. Expand your emotional vocabulary. A limited emotional vocabulary can hinder your ability to accurately identify and label your emotions. Expanding your emotional vocabulary allows you to describe your feelings more precisely. Instead of defaulting to broad terms like happy, sad, or angry, consider using more specific words. For example, instead of happy, try content, joyful, excited, or grateful. Instead of sad, try disappointed, melancholy, heartbroken, or lonely. Instead of angry, try frustrated, irritated, resentful, or infuriated. By using more nuanced terms, you can better understand and communicate your emotional experiences. 3. Journal your emotions. Keeping a daily journal is an excellent way to track and identify your emotions. Spend a few minutes each day writing about your experiences and the emotions you felt. Be as specific as possible, noting the situations that triggered your emotions and how you responded. Over time, this practice can help you recognize patterns in your emotional responses and become more aware of your feelings. Consider using a structured format for your journal entries, such as Situation. Describe the event or circumstance that triggered your emotion. Emotion. Identify and label the emotion you felt. Intensity. Rate the intensity of the emotion on a scale of 1 to 10. Thoughts. Note any thoughts or beliefs associated with the emotion. Response. Describe how you responded to the emotion. This format can help you organize your thoughts and gain deeper insights into your emotional patterns. 4. Use mindfulness practices. Mindfulness involves paying attention to the present moment without judgment. Practicing mindfulness can enhance your ability to recognize and label your emotions. Techniques such as mindfulness meditation, deep breathing exercises, and body scans can help you tune into your emotional state and develop a greater awareness of your feelings. During mindfulness meditation, Focus on your breath and observe any emotions that arise without trying to change them. Acknowledge each emotion and label it mentally, such as anger, anxiety, or joy. This practice can help you become more attuned to your emotional landscape and less reactive to emotional triggers. 5. Seek feedback from others. Sometimes, it can be challenging to identify your emotions accurately on your own. Seeking feedback from trusted friends, family members, or therapist can provide valuable insights into your emotional responses. Others may notice patterns or behaviors that you might overlook, helping you gain a clearer understanding of your feelings. When seeking feedback, ask open-ended questions such as, How do you perceive my emotional response to specific situation? Have you noticed any patterns in my emotional reactions? What emotions do you think I might be experiencing in specific context? This feedback can complement your self-reflection efforts and provide a more comprehensive view of your emotional landscape. Mastering the art of emotional labeling is a foundational step in building emotional self-awareness. By pausing to reflect, expanding your emotional vocabulary, journaling, practicing mindfulness, and seeking feedback, you can develop the skills to accurately identify and label your emotions. This awareness not only enhances your ability to manage your feelings, but also lays the groundwork for deeper emotional regulation and resilience. Emotional Triggers Uncovering the Roots of Your Reactions Understanding what triggers your emotions and why is a crucial aspect of building emotional self-awareness. Emotional triggers are specific events, people, or situations that provoke strong emotional responses. By identifying these triggers and uncovering their roots, you can better manage your reactions and enhance your emotional intelligence. 
The Nature of Emotional Triggers Emotional triggers can stem from a variety of sources. They may be linked to past experiences, unresolved conflicts, or current stressors. Triggers can be external, such as a critical comment from a colleague, or internal, like a negative self-thought. Recognizing these triggers allows you to anticipate and prepare for emotional responses, reducing their impact on your well-being. Identifying your emotional triggers. 1. Reflect on past experiences. One of the most effective ways to identify your emotional triggers is to reflect on past experiences that elicited strong emotional reactions. Think about situations where you felt intense anger, sadness, joy, or fear. Ask yourself, what exactly happened in that situation? Who was involved? What specific actions or words triggered my emotional response? How did I feel in that moment? By examining these experiences, you can begin to identify patterns and common themes that reveal your triggers. 2. Keep an emotional trigger journal. Maintaining an emotional trigger journal can help you track and analyze your emotional responses over time. Whenever you experience a strong emotion, jot down the details in your journal. Include the date and time of the incident, the context and circumstances, the specific triggers, your emotional response, any physical sensations you experienced, your thoughts and beliefs at the time. Reviewing your journal regularly can provide valuable insights into recurring triggers and how they affect your emotions. 3. Identify current stressors. Current stressors, whether from work, relationships, or other areas of life, can also serve as emotional triggers. Consider the following questions to identify these stressors. What situations currently cause me the most stress or anxiety? Are there specific people or environments that consistently trigger negative emotions? How do I typically respond to these stressors? Understanding the connection between current stressors and your emotional responses can help you develop strategies to manage them more effectively. Understanding the roots of your triggers. 1. Explore past experiences. Many emotional triggers are rooted in past experiences, particularly those from childhood or formative years. These experiences can create lasting emotional imprints that influence how you respond to similar situations in the present. For example, if you were frequently criticized as a child, you might be more sensitive to criticism as an adult. Exploring the roots of your triggers involves reflecting on significant past events and considering how they shape your current emotional responses. This process can be challenging, but is essential for gaining a deeper understanding of your emotions. 2. Recognize unresolved conflicts. Unresolved conflicts, whether internal or external, can contribute to emotional triggers. Internal conflicts may involve conflicting beliefs or values, while external conflicts might involve unresolved issues with others. Identifying these conflicts and working towards resolution can help reduce their impact on your emotional well being. 3. Acknowledge core beliefs and self-perceptions. Core beliefs and self-perceptions, often formed early in life, play a significant role in shaping your emotional triggers. These beliefs can be positive or negative and influence how you interpret and respond to situations. For instance, if you hold a core belief that you are unworthy of love, you may be easily triggered by perceived rejection or criticism. To understand the roots of your triggers, Consider the following. What core beliefs do I hold about myself and the world? How do these beliefs influence my emotional responses? Are there any negative self-perceptions that contribute to my triggers? Strategies for managing emotional triggers. 1. Develop coping mechanisms. Once you have identified your triggers, developing coping mechanisms can help you manage your emotional responses. These may include deep breathing exercises, mindfulness practices, or positive self-talk. Having a set of go-to strategies can help you stay calm and centered when faced with triggering situations. 2. Practice emotional regulation. 
Emotional regulation involves managing your emotional responses in a healthy and constructive manner. Techniques such as cognitive reframing, where you change the way you think about a situation, can help you respond more calmly and rationally to triggers. 3. Seek support. Sometimes, understanding and managing emotional triggers can be challenging on your own. Seeking support from a therapist or counselor can provide valuable guidance and help you work through complex emotional issues. Support groups or trusted friends and family members can also offer perspective and encouragement. Understanding what triggers your emotions and why is a powerful step towards emotional self-awareness and mastery. By identifying your triggers, exploring their roots, and developing strategies to manage them, you can gain greater control over your emotional responses and improve your overall well-being. Self-reflection practices. Cultivating inner awareness. Developing emotional self-awareness requires consistent practice and intentional reflection. By regularly engaging in self-reflection, you can deepen your understanding of your emotions, identify patterns, and make conscious choices about how to respond to emotional triggers. Here are some effective tools and exercises for cultivating inner awareness. Journaling. Writing your emotional story. One of the most powerful tools for self-reflection is journaling. Writing about your emotions can help you process and understand them more clearly. Here's how to make the most of your journaling practice. Daily emotional check-in. Set aside a few minutes each day to write about your emotional experiences. Describe the situations that triggered your emotions, how you felt, and how you responded. Be as detailed as possible to capture the full context of your emotional experiences. Reflective questions. Use specific questions to guide your journaling, such as what emotions did I experience today? What triggered these emotions? And how did I handle these emotions? Pattern recognition. Over time, review your journal entries to identify recurring themes and patterns. This can help you understand your emotional triggers and responses better. Mindfulness meditation. Observing without judgment. Mindfulness meditation is a practice that involves paying attention to the present moment without judgment. It can help you become more aware of your emotions and learn to observe them without reacting impulsively. Here are some mindfulness techniques to incorporate into your routine. Breath awareness. Focus on your breath as it flows in and out. When your mind wanders, gently bring your attention back to your breath. This practice can help you stay grounded and present, making it easier to recognize and understand your emotions as they arise. Body scan. Slowly move your attention through different parts of your body, noticing any sensations or emotions that arise. This can help you connect with your physical and emotional state, promoting greater self-awareness. Labeling emotions. As you meditate, observe any emotions that come up and label them, such as anger, sadness, or joy. Acknowledging your emotions without judgment can help you develop a more accepting and compassionate relationship with them. Self-compassion exercises. Being kind to yourself. Practicing self-compassion involves treating yourself with kindness and understanding, especially during challenging times. This practice can enhance your emotional awareness and resilience. Here are some self-compassion exercises to try. Self-compassion break. When you're experiencing a difficult emotion, pause and take a self-compassion break. Acknowledge your suffering. Remind yourself that it's a common human experience, and offer yourself words of kindness and support. Loving-kindness meditation. Practice sending loving-kindness to yourself and others. Begin by focusing on yourself and repeating phrases like May I be happy, may I be healthy, may I be at peace. Gradually extend these wishes to loved ones, acquaintances, and even people you find challenging. Affirmations. Create a list of positive affirmations that resonate with you and reflect your values and aspirations. Repeat these affirmations regularly to cultivate a positive and supportive inner dialogue. Emotional check-ins, routine self-assessment. Regularly checking in with yourself can help you stay attuned to your emotions and respond to them more effectively. Here's how to integrate emotional check-ins into your daily routine. Morning and evening reflections. 
start and end your day with a brief emotional check-in. In the morning, ask yourself how you're feeling and what you might need to support your well-being throughout the day. In the evening, reflect on the emotions you experienced and how you handled them. Periodic breaks. Throughout the day, take short breaks to assess your emotional state. Pause for a few moments, take a few deep breaths, and ask yourself how you're feeling. This practice can help you stay connected to your emotions and make necessary adjustments to your behavior or environment. Emotion Wheel Use an emotion wheel to help identify and label your emotions more precisely. An emotion wheel is a visual tool that categorizes emotions into different groups, making it easier to pinpoint exactly what you're feeling. Creative Expression Channeling Emotions Through Art Creative activities like drawing, painting, music, and writing can be powerful ways to explore and express your emotions. Engaging in creative expression allows you to process your feelings in a nonverbal way, providing new insights and perspectives. Here's how to incorporate creative expression into your self-reflection practice. Art journaling. Combine visual art with journaling to express your emotions. Use colors, shapes, and images to represent your feelings and then write about what you've created. Music and movement. Listen to music that resonates with your emotions and allow yourself to move in response. Dance, sway, or simply sit and feel the music. This practice can help you connect with and release your emotions. Storytelling. Write stories or poems that reflect your emotional experiences. Use metaphor and narrative to explore your feelings from different angles. By incorporating these self-reflection practices into your routine, you can cultivate a deeper understanding of your emotions and enhance your emotional self-awareness. This awareness is a crucial step towards emotional mastery, enabling you to navigate your emotional landscape with greater insight and intention. Conclusion Embracing Self-Awareness for Emotional Mastery As we conclude this chapter on building emotional self-awareness, it's essential to recognize the transformative power of understanding your own emotions. Self-awareness is the foundation of emotional intelligence, serving as the first step toward emotional mastery. By accurately identifying and labeling your emotions, understanding what triggers them, and engaging in regular self-reflection practices, you can develop a deeper connection with your emotional self. Recap of Key Points 1. Identifying Emotions we explored various techniques to help you accurately identify and label your emotions. By expanding your emotional vocabulary and practicing mindfulness, you can become more attuned to your feelings and respond to them more effectively. 2. Understanding Emotional Triggers We delved into the importance of recognizing what triggers your emotions and why. By reflecting on past experiences, identifying current stressors, and acknowledging core beliefs, you can uncover the roots of your emotional reactions and gain greater control over them. 3. Self-Reflection Practices We discussed several tools and exercises for regular self-reflection, such as journaling, mindfulness meditation, self-compassion exercises, emotional check-ins, and creative expression. These practices can enhance your emotional awareness and help you navigate your emotional landscape with greater insight and intention. Looking Ahead Emotional Regulation Strategies With a solid foundation in emotional self-awareness, you are now better equipped to move forward on your journey toward emotional mastery. The next chapter will focus on emotional regulation strategies, providing practical techniques to manage and control your emotions effectively. By applying these strategies, you can respond to emotional challenges with resilience and clarity, enhancing your overall well-being and interpersonal relationships. Remember, emotional mastery is a continuous journey of growth and self-discovery. Embracing self-awareness is a crucial step, but it is only the beginning. As we examine the next chapter, we will explore how to harness the power of your emotions and regulate them to achieve a balanced and fulfilling life. Let's continue this journey together, unlocking the potential for greater emotional intelligence and personal growth. Chapter 3 Emotional Regulation Techniques Harnessing Control – The Power of Emotional Regulation Emotional regulation is a vital skill that enables us to manage and control our emotional responses in various situations. 
It involves recognizing our emotions, understanding their impact, and using effective strategies to influence how we feel and react. Mastering emotional regulation can lead to significant benefits for both our mental health and our interpersonal relationships. Effective emotional regulation allows us to maintain emotional balance, even in the face of stress and adversity. It helps us respond to challenges with calm and clarity, rather than being overwhelmed by intense emotions. This skill not only enhances our personal well-being, but also improves our interactions with others, fostering healthier and more supportive relationships. In this chapter, we will explore several strategies to help you regulate your emotions effectively. We will begin with mindfulness and meditation practices, which can anchor you in the present moment and provide a powerful tool for managing your emotions. Next, we will examine Cognitive Behavioral Techniques CBT, that can help reframe negative thoughts and alter emotional responses. Finally, we will discuss the importance of healthy outlets, such as physical activities and creative arts, for expressing and processing emotions in a constructive manner. By the end of this chapter, you will have a comprehensive toolkit of emotional regulation techniques that you can apply in your daily life. These strategies will empower you to navigate emotional challenges with greater resilience and poise, laying the foundation for continued emotional growth and well-being. Let's begin this exploration of emotional regulation and unlock the potential for a more balanced and fulfilling life. Mindfulness and Meditation Anchoring Yourself in the Present The Power of Mindfulness Mindfulness is a practice that involves paying focused attention to the present moment with a non-judgmental and accepting attitude. By grounding yourself in the here and now, mindfulness can help you manage your emotions more effectively, reducing stress and enhancing overall well-being. How Mindfulness Works Mindfulness works by increasing your awareness of your thoughts, feelings, and bodily sensations as they occur. This heightened awareness allows you to observe your emotions without being overwhelmed by them. Instead of reacting impulsively, you can respond thoughtfully and intentionally. Here's how mindfulness can help you stay present and manage your emotions. 1. Reducing Emotional Reactivity Mindfulness helps create a buffer between stimulus and response. When you practice mindfulness, you train your brain to pause before reacting to emotional triggers. This pause gives you the opportunity to assess the situation, recognize your emotional state, and choose a more considered response. Over time, this practice can reduce emotional reactivity and help you maintain a sense of calm in stressful situations. 2. Enhancing Emotional Awareness Regular mindfulness practice enhances your ability to recognize and understand your emotions. By paying attention to your internal experiences, you become more attuned to the subtle shifts in your emotional state. This increased awareness allows you to identify your emotions more accurately and understand their underlying causes. As a result, you can address your emotions more effectively and prevent them from escalating. 3. Cultivating Self-Compassion Mindfulness encourages a compassionate and non-judgmental attitude towards yourself. When you practice mindfulness, you learn to accept your emotions without criticism or judgment. This self-compassion fosters a healthier relationship with your emotions, reducing feelings of shame or guilt. By treating yourself with kindness and understanding, you can navigate challenging emotions with greater ease and resilience. Mindfulness Practices for Emotional Regulation 1. Breath Awareness Meditation Breath awareness meditation is a simple yet powerful mindfulness practice that involves focusing on your breath. Here's how to get started. Find a comfortable seated position and close your eyes. Take a few deep breaths to relax your body. Bring your attention to the sensation of your breath as it enters and leaves your nostrils. If your mind wanders, gently bring your focus back to your breath. Continue this practice for a few minutes gradually increasing the duration as you become more comfortable. Breath awareness meditation can help calm your mind, reduce stress, and improve your ability to stay present. 2. Body Scan Meditation Body scan meditation involves systematically focusing on different parts of your body and observing any sensations you experience. 
This practice can help you connect with your physical and emotional state. Here's how to practice a body scan meditation. Lie down in a comfortable position and close your eyes. Take a few deep breaths to relax your body. Begin by focusing on your toes and noticing any sensations you feel. Slowly move your attention up through your body, focusing on each part in turn, feet, legs, abdomen, chest, arms, hands, neck, and head. If you notice any areas of tension or discomfort, breathe into those areas and allow them to relax. Continue this practice until you have scanned your entire body. Body scan meditation can increase your awareness of physical and emotional sensations, helping you manage your emotions more effectively. 3. Mindful Walking Mindful walking is a practice that involves paying close attention to the experience of walking. Here's how to practice mindful walking. Find a quiet place where you can walk without interruptions. Begin by standing still and taking a few deep breaths to center yourself. Start walking slowly and focus on the sensation of your feet touching the ground. Notice the movement of your legs, the shifting of your weight, and the rhythm of your steps. If your mind wanders, gently bring your attention back to the act of walking. Continue this practice for several minutes, gradually increasing the duration as you become more comfortable. Mindful walking can help you stay grounded in the present moment and reduce emotional stress. Incorporating Mindfulness into Daily Life Integrating mindfulness into your daily routine can enhance your emotional regulation and overall well-being. Here are some tips for incorporating mindfulness into your everyday life. Start small. Begin with short mindfulness sessions and gradually increase the duration as you become more comfortable with the practice. Be consistent. Aim to practice mindfulness regularly, even if it's just for a few minutes each day. Use reminders. Set reminders on your phone or place visual cues around your home to prompt you to practice mindfulness. Stay patient. Remember that mindfulness is a skill that takes time to develop. Be patient with yourself and approach the practice with an open mind. By incorporating mindfulness and meditation into your daily routine, you can enhance your emotional self-awareness, reduce stress, and improve your ability to manage your emotions effectively. Reframing your mind. The Power of Cognitive Behavioral Techniques Understanding Cognitive Behavioral Techniques, CBT Cognitive Behavioral Therapy, CBT, is a widely used and effective approach to emotional regulation. It focuses on identifying and changing negative thought patterns and behaviors that contribute to emotional distress. By learning to reframe negative thoughts, you can alter your emotional responses and develop healthier coping mechanisms. How CBT Works CBT is based on the premise that our thoughts, feelings, and behaviors are interconnected. Negative thoughts can lead to negative emotions and unhelpful behaviors, creating a cycle of emotional distress. By challenging and changing these thoughts, you can break this cycle and improve your emotional well-being. Here's how CBT can help you manage your emotions. 1. Identifying Negative Thought Patterns The first step in CBT is to identify negative thought patterns that contribute to emotional distress. These thoughts are often automatic and may go unnoticed, but they significantly impact your emotions. Common negative thought patterns include Catastrophizing Expecting the worst-case scenario to happen Black and white thinking Viewing situations in extremes, with no middle ground Overgeneralization. Drawing broad conclusions from a single event. Personalization. Blaming yourself for events outside your control. By recognizing these patterns, you can begin to challenge and change them. 2. Challenging negative thoughts. Once you've identified negative thought patterns, the next step is to challenge them. This involves examining the evidence for and against these thoughts and considering alternative perspectives. Here's how to challenge negative thoughts. Examine the evidence. Ask yourself what evidence supports or contradicts the negative thought. For example, if you think, I always fail, consider instances where you have succeeded. Consider alternatives. Think of alternative explanations or viewpoints. For example, 
instead of thinking, everyone hates me, consider that people may be preoccupied with their issues. Reframe the thought. Replace the negative thought with a more balanced and realistic one. For example, change I'm terrible at this to I'm still learning and improving. Challenging negative thoughts can help you develop a more balanced and constructive mindset, reducing emotional distress. 3. Using Thought Records Thought records are a practical tool in CBT that help you track and analyze your thoughts and emotions. Here's how to use a thought record. Situation. Describe the situation that triggered the negative thought. Emotion. Identify the emotion you felt and rate its intensity on a scale of 1 to 10. Automatic thought. Write down the negative thought that came to mind. Evidence for the thought. List evidence that supports the negative thought. Evidence against the thought. List evidence that contradicts the negative thought. Alternative thought. Develop a more balanced and realistic thought. Outcome. Rate your emotion again and note any changes. Using thought records regularly can help you become more aware of your thought patterns and develop healthier ways of thinking. CBT Techniques for Managing Emotional Responses 1. Behavioral Activation Behavioral activation involves engaging in activities that bring you joy or a sense of accomplishment, even when you don't feel like it. This technique can help counteract negative emotions and improve your mood. Here's how to practice behavioral activation. Identify activities. Make a list of activities that you enjoy or find fulfilling. Set goals. Set small, achievable goals to engage in these activities regularly. Track progress. Keep a record of your activities and how they impact your mood. By actively participating in positive activities, you can break the cycle of negative emotions and improve your overall well-being. 2. Exposure Therapy Exposure therapy involves gradually facing and confronting fears or anxieties in a controlled and systematic way. This technique can help reduce emotional distress and build resilience. Here's how to practice exposure therapy. Identify triggers. Identify the situations or objects that trigger your fear or anxiety. Create a hierarchy. Rank these triggers from least to most distressing. Gradual exposure. Start with the least distressing trigger and gradually expose yourself to more challenging ones, using relaxation techniques to manage anxiety. By confronting your fears in a controlled manner, you can reduce their impact and build emotional resilience. 3. Problem Solving Problem solving is a CBT technique that involves identifying and addressing the problems contributing to your emotional distress. Here's how to practice problem solving. Identify the problem. Clearly define the problem that is causing distress. Brainstorm solutions. Generate a list of potential solutions without evaluating them. Evaluate options. Assess the pros and cons of each solution. Choose and implement a solution. Select the best solution and create an action plan. Review the outcome. Evaluate the effectiveness of the solution and make adjustments if necessary. By systematically addressing problems, you can reduce emotional distress and enhance your coping skills. Integrating CBT into daily life. Integrating CBT techniques into your daily routine can help you manage your emotions more effectively and improve your overall well-being. Here are some tips for incorporating CBT into your life. Practice regularly. Set aside time each day to practice CBT techniques, such as using thought records or engaging in behavioral activation. Seek support. Consider working with a therapist who can guide you through CBT and provide personalized support. Be patient. Remember that changing thought patterns and behaviors takes time and practice. Be patient with yourself and celebrate your progress. By using CBT methods to reframe negative thoughts and manage your emotional responses, you can develop a healthier and more resilient mindset. This will empower you to navigate life's challenges with greater ease and confidence. Healthy Outlets Channeling Emotions Through Positive Activities the importance of healthy outlets. Emotional regulation isn't just about controlling or suppressing emotions, it's also about finding constructive ways to express and process them. 
Healthy outlets provide a means to release pent-up emotions and reduce stress, promoting overall well-being. Engaging in physical activities, creative arts, and other positive outlets can help you manage your emotions effectively and maintain emotional balance. Physical activities. Moving your body, calming your mind. Physical activities are excellent for emotional regulation, as they offer a natural way to release tension and elevate mood. Here are some physical activities that can serve as healthy emotional outlets. 1. Exercise. Regular exercise is one of the most effective ways to improve your emotional health. Physical activity stimulates the production of endorphins, the body's natural mood lifters. Here are some forms of exercise to consider. Aerobic exercise. Activities like running, cycling, or swimming can boost your cardiovascular health and mood. Strength training. Lifting weights or engaging in bodyweight exercises can enhance your physical strength and reduce stress. Group fitness. Participating in group classes such as yoga, pilates, or dance can provide social interaction and emotional support. 2. Outdoor activities. Spending time in nature can have a calming effect on your mind and body. Outdoor activities can help you disconnect from daily stressors and reconnect with yourself. Consider these options. Hiking. Explore nature trails and enjoy the serenity of the outdoors. Gardening. Cultivate plants and enjoy the therapeutic benefits of working with soil. Walking. Take regular walks in parks or green spaces to clear your mind and improve your mood. Creative arts. Expressing emotions through creativity. Creative expression allows you to process and communicate your emotions in a non-verbal and often cathartic way. Engaging in creative arts can provide a sense of accomplishment and emotional release. Here are some creative outlets to explore. 1. Art and drawing. Drawing, painting, and other visual arts can help you express your emotions visually. You don't need to be an artist to benefit from these activities. Journaling. Combine writing with drawing to create an art journal that captures your emotions and experiences. Coloring. Adult coloring books can provide a relaxing and meditative activity that helps focus your mind. 2. Music and dance. Music and dance are powerful forms of emotional expression. They can help you process complex emotions and lift your spirits. Playing an instrument. Learn to play an instrument or spend time with one you already know. Music can be a great way to express emotions and find solace. Dancing. Whether it's structured dance classes or freeform dancing at home, moving to music can help release tension and elevate your mood. 3. Writing and Storytelling. Writing allows you to articulate your thoughts and emotions, providing clarity and perspective. Consider these forms of writing. Journaling. Write about your daily experiences, thoughts, and feelings. This practice can help you process emotions and track your emotional growth. Creative writing. Write stories, poems, or essays that reflect your inner world. This creative process can be therapeutic and insightful. Other healthy outlets. Diversifying your emotional expression. In addition to physical activities and creative arts, there are other healthy outlets that can help you manage your emotions effectively. 1. Mindful Cooking Cooking can be a mindful and rewarding activity that engages your senses and creativity. Preparing healthy meals can provide a sense of accomplishment and nurture your body and mind. 2. Volunteering Helping others can provide a sense of purpose and fulfillment. Volunteering your time and skills to a cause you care about can improve your emotional well-being and build connections with others. 3. Hobbies and Interests Engaging in hobbies and interests that you are passionate about can provide a positive distraction and a sense of joy. Whether it's gardening, knitting, reading, or playing a sport, dedicating time to activities you love can enhance your emotional health. Integrating Healthy Outlets into Daily Life To reap the benefits of healthy outlets, it's important to integrate them into your daily routine. Here are some tips to help you get started. Set aside time. 
dedicate specific times each week to engage in your chosen activities. Consistency is key to making them a regular part of your life. Start small. Begin with manageable activities and gradually increase the time and effort you invest in them. Listen to your body and mind. Pay attention to how different activities make you feel. Focus on those that provide the most emotional relief and satisfaction. Mix it up. Diversify your outlets to keep things interesting and address different emotional needs. By exploring and engaging in healthy outlets, you can channel your emotions constructively and maintain a balanced emotional state. These activities not only provide immediate emotional relief, but also contribute to long-term emotional well-being. Conclusion Mastering Emotional Balance As we conclude this chapter on emotional regulation techniques, it's clear that mastering your emotions requires a multifaceted approach. By incorporating a variety of strategies, you can effectively manage your emotional responses and improve your overall well-being. Let's summarize the key techniques discussed and highlight their practical applications. Key Techniques for Emotional Regulation 1. Mindfulness and Meditation Practicing mindfulness and meditation helps you stay present and maintain a calm and balanced state of mind. Techniques such as breath awareness, body scans, and mindful walking can enhance your emotional awareness and reduce reactivity. These practices encourage a non-judgmental attitude towards your emotions, fostering acceptance and understanding. 2. Cognitive behavioral technique Using cognitive behavioral therapy, CBT methods, you can reframe negative thoughts and alter emotional responses. Identifying negative thought patterns, challenging these thoughts, and using thought records can help you develop a more balanced and realistic mindset. CBT techniques like behavioral activation and problem-solving empower you to address emotional distress constructively. 3. Healthy Outlets Engaging in healthy outlets such as physical activities, creative arts, and other positive expressions can provide a natural release for pent-up emotions. Whether it's exercising, drawing, playing music, or volunteering, these activities help you process emotions and reduce stress. Integrating these outlets into your daily routine can enhance your emotional resilience and overall happiness. Practical Applications Incorporating these techniques into your daily life can lead to significant improvements in your emotional health and relationships. Here are some practical ways to apply what you've learned. Daily practice. Dedicate time each day to mindfulness or meditation, even if it's just a few minutes. Consistency is key to reaping the benefits of these practices. Regular reflection. Use CBT techniques regularly to challenge negative thoughts and reflect on your emotional responses. Keep a journal to track your progress and identify patterns. Active engagement. Make a conscious effort to engage in healthy outlets that bring you joy and relaxation. Schedule these activities into your week to ensure they become a regular part of your routine. By applying these emotional regulation techniques, you can navigate life's challenges with greater ease and maintain a more balanced and fulfilling emotional state. Looking ahead. Building emotional resilience. With a strong foundation in emotional regulation, we are now ready to explore the next crucial aspect of emotional mastery, building emotional resilience. In the upcoming chapter, we will delve into strategies that help you bounce back from emotional setbacks and maintain your equilibrium in the face of adversity. Emotional resilience is essential for long-term emotional health and well-being, enabling you to thrive even in challenging circumstances. Join us in the next chapter as we continue this journey towards greater emotional intelligence and resilience. By mastering these skills, you can create a life filled with balance, strength, and fulfillment. Chapter 4 Building Emotional Resilience Life is filled with challenges, setbacks, and stressors that can test our emotional strength. How we respond to these adversities determines our emotional health and overall well-being. This chapter focuses on building emotional resilience, the ability to bounce back from setbacks and maintain emotional balance during tough times. Emotional resilience is more than just coping with difficulties. It's about growing stronger and more adaptable in the face of adversity. 
Resilient individuals can navigate through life's ups and downs with greater ease, maintaining their mental health and well-being even when faced with significant challenges. Why Emotional Resilience Matters Developing emotional resilience is crucial for long-term emotional health. Resilient people are better equipped to handle stress, recover from traumatic events, and maintain a positive outlook despite life's inevitable hardships. This ability to adapt and thrive not only enhances your personal well-being, but also improves your relationships, career, and overall quality of life. In this chapter, we will explore practical strategies to help you cultivate emotional resilience. We will begin by discussing the resilience mindset, which involves embracing challenges and learning from failures. Next, we will examine into effective stress management techniques that can help you maintain emotional balance during difficult times. Finally, we will highlight the importance of building a strong support network of friends, family, and mentors, and how these connections can bolster your resilience. By the end of this chapter, you will have a comprehensive understanding of emotional resilience and practical tools to enhance your ability to bounce back from setbacks. Embracing these strategies will empower you to face life's challenges with confidence and grace, fostering a resilient and robust emotional foundation. Embracing Challenges Cultivating a Resilient Mindset The Power of a Resilient Mindset Cultivating a resilient mindset is essential for navigating life's challenges and setbacks. A resilient mindset allows you to view difficulties as opportunities for growth rather than insurmountable obstacles. By embracing challenges and learning from failures, you can develop the emotional strength needed to thrive in the face of adversity. Understanding the Resilience Mindset A resilience mindset involves a positive and proactive approach to life's difficulties. It is characterized by the following key attitudes. 1. Embracing challenges. Growth through adversity. Viewing challenges as opportunities to grow and develop new skills is a hallmark of a resilient mindset. Rather than avoiding difficulties, resilient individuals confront them head-on, understanding that overcoming obstacles can lead to personal growth and greater resilience. Optimism and hope. Maintaining a positive outlook and believing in your ability to overcome challenges is crucial. Optimism doesn't mean ignoring problems, but rather approaching them with the confidence that you can find solutions and emerge stronger. 2. Learning from failures. Seeing failure as feedback, resilient individuals understand that failure is not a permanent state but a valuable source of information. Each setback provides insights into what went wrong and how to improve. By viewing failures as feedback, you can learn and adapt, increasing your chances of success in the future. Perseverance and Persistence Developing resilience involves a commitment to persevere despite setbacks. Persistence is key to overcoming challenges and achieving long-term goals. By staying focused and determined, even in the face of failure, you build the resilience needed to keep moving forward. Strategies for Cultivating a Resilient Mindset 1. Adopt a Growth Mindset Believe in your potential. Embrace the idea that your abilities and intelligence can be developed through effort and learning. This growth mindset fosters resilience by encouraging you to see challenges as opportunities to improve and expand your capabilities. Set learning goals. Focus on setting goals that prioritize learning and development rather than solely aiming for outcomes. This approach helps you value the process of growth and reduces the fear of failure. 2. Practice self-compassion. Be kind to yourself. Treat yourself with the same kindness and understanding that you would offer to a friend facing difficulties. Self-compassion helps you recover from setbacks more quickly and reduces the negative impact of self-criticism. Acknowledge your efforts. Recognize and celebrate your efforts and progress, even if you haven't yet achieved your goals. This practice reinforces a positive self-image and motivates you to keep striving. 3. Reframe Negative Thoughts Challenge Negative Beliefs When faced with setbacks, it's common to have negative thoughts like I'll never succeed or I'm not good enough. Challenge these beliefs by examining the evidence and considering more balanced perspectives. Use positive affirmations. 
replace negative thoughts with positive affirmations that reinforce your resilience and potential. Statements like I am capable of overcoming challenges and every setback is an opportunity to learn can help shift your mindset. 4. Cultivate Gratitude Focus on positives. Regularly reflecting on the positive aspects of your life and expressing gratitude can boost your resilience. Gratitude helps you maintain a balanced perspective and reminds you of your strengths and resources. Keep a gratitude journal. Write down things you are grateful for each day. This practice helps you develop a habit of focusing on positive experiences and builds emotional resilience over time. 5. Develop problem-solving skills. Break down challenges. When faced with a difficult situation, break it down into smaller, manageable parts. This approach makes challenges seem less overwhelming and allows you to tackle them step by step. Generate solutions. Brainstorm multiple solutions to a problem and evaluate their potential effectiveness. By considering various options, you can find creative and effective ways to address challenges. By cultivating a resilient mindset, you can approach life's challenges with confidence and optimism. Embracing challenges and learning from failures are essential components of emotional resilience, empowering you to navigate adversity with strength and grace. Mastering Stress Techniques for Maintaining Emotional Balance Understanding Stress Management Stress is an inevitable part of life, but how we handle it can make all the difference in maintaining emotional balance and resilience. Effective stress management techniques help you navigate tough times with greater ease, reducing the negative impact of stress on your mental and physical health. In this section, we will explore various strategies for managing stress and maintaining emotional equilibrium. Techniques for Managing Stress 1. Mindfulness and Relaxation Practices Mindfulness and relaxation practices are powerful tools for managing stress. By bringing your attention to the present moment and engaging in calming activities, you can reduce stress and enhance emotional well-being. Deep Breathing Exercises Deep breathing helps activate the body's relaxation response. Practice inhaling slowly through your nose, filling your lungs completely, and exhaling slowly through your mouth. Repeat this for a few minutes to calm your mind and body. Progressive Muscle Relaxation This technique involves tensing and then slowly relaxing different muscle groups in your body. Start with your toes and work your way up to your head, focusing on the sensation of relaxation. Mindfulness Meditation Spend a few minutes each day practicing mindfulness meditation. Focus on your breath or a calming image, and gently bring your mind back to the present moment whenever it wanders. 2. Physical Activity Regular physical activity is one of the most effective ways to manage stress. Exercise releases endorphins, the body's natural mood lifters, and helps reduce the levels of stress hormones like cortisol. Aerobic exercise. Activities such as running, swimming, cycling, or dancing can elevate your heart rate and improve your mood. Yoga and Tai Chi. These practices combine physical movement with mindfulness and deep breathing, promoting relaxation and stress relief. Walking. A simple walk in nature can have a calming effect on your mind and body. Aim for at least 30 minutes of walking several times a week. 3. Healthy Lifestyle Choices Making healthy lifestyle choices can significantly impact your ability to manage stress. Focus on the following areas to enhance your resilience to stress. Balanced Diet Eating a nutritious diet provides your body with the necessary nutrients to function optimally and handle stress better. Include plenty of fruits, vegetables, whole grains, lean proteins, and healthy fats in your meals. Adequate sleep. Quality sleep is essential for stress management. Aim for 7 to 9 hours of sleep per night and establish a consistent sleep routine. Hydration. Staying hydrated helps maintain your energy levels and cognitive function, making it easier to manage stress. 4. Time management and organization. Effective time management and organizational skills can help reduce stress by making your daily tasks more manageable. Here are some tips to improve your time management. Prioritize tasks. 
identify the most important tasks and tackle them first. Use a to-do list or planner to keep track of your responsibilities. Break tasks into smaller steps. Breaking larger tasks into smaller, more manageable steps can make them feel less overwhelming. Set realistic goals. Set achievable goals and deadlines, and be realistic about what you can accomplish in a given time frame. 5. Social support and connection. Having a strong support network can provide emotional comfort and practical help during stressful times. Building and maintaining connections with others is crucial for stress management. Talk to someone you trust. Share your feelings and concerns with a friend, family member, or mentor. Talking about your stressors can help you gain perspective and feel less isolated. Join support groups. Consider joining a support group where you can connect with others who are experiencing similar challenges. Spend quality time with loved ones. Make time for social activities and spend quality time with people who uplift and support you. 6. Cognitive technique. Changing the way you think about stress can help you manage it more effectively. Cognitive techniques involve reframing your thoughts and developing a more positive outlook. Reframe negative thoughts. Challenge negative thoughts and replace them with more positive and realistic ones. For example, instead of thinking, I can't handle this, reframe it to, I can manage this step by step. Practice gratitude. Focusing on what you are grateful for can shift your mindset and reduce stress. Keep a gratitude journal and write down three things you are thankful for each day. Visualize success. Use positive visualization techniques to imagine yourself successfully managing and overcoming stress. This can boost your confidence and reduce anxiety. By incorporating these stress management techniques into your daily routine, you can maintain emotional balance and build resilience to life's challenges. These strategies will help you navigate tough times with greater ease and emerge stronger and more adaptable. Strength in Connections The Power of Support Systems The Role of Support Systems Building a strong support network is crucial for emotional resilience. Support systems, composed of friends, family, mentors, and community members, provide emotional comfort, practical assistance, and a sense of belonging. These connections can help you navigate challenges, celebrate successes, and maintain emotional balance during tough times. Why Support Systems Matter Having a robust support network can significantly impact your mental and emotional health. Here's why support systems are essential. 1. Emotional comfort and understanding. Shared experiences Friends and family members who understand your experiences can provide empathy and validation. Sharing your feelings and challenges with others can reduce feelings of isolation and offer emotional relief. Emotional support. Supportive relationships provide a safe space to express your emotions and receive comfort. Knowing that others care about you and are there for you can enhance your emotional well-being. 2. Practical assistance. Help with daily tasks. Friends and family can assist with everyday responsibilities, reducing stress and allowing you to focus on self-care and recovery. Guidance and advice. Mentors and experienced individuals can offer valuable advice and perspectives on handling challenges, making it easier to navigate difficult situations. 3. Sense of belonging. Community connection. Being part of a supportive community fosters a sense of belonging and connection. Engaging with others who share your interests and values can enhance your emotional resilience. Social interaction. Regular social interaction is vital for mental health. Positive relationships and social activities can boost your mood and provide a sense of fulfillment. Building and strengthening your support network. 1. Cultivate close relationships. Invest time and effort. Building strong relationships requires time and effort. Prioritize spending time with friends and family, and engage in activities that strengthen your bond. Communicate openly. Open and honest communication is key to maintaining healthy relationships. Share your thoughts and feelings, and listen actively to others. 2. Seek out mentors. Identify role models. 
Look for individuals who have experience and wisdom in areas where you seek guidance. Mentors can provide valuable insights and support as you navigate personal and professional challenges. Build mutually beneficial relationships. Establish a two-way relationship where both you and your mentor can benefit. Offer your support and appreciation in return for their guidance. 3. Join support groups and communities. Find like-minded individuals. Join support groups, clubs, or organizations that align with your interests and values. These communities can offer additional support and opportunities for social connection. Participate actively. Engage in group activities and discussions. Active participation can help you build deeper connections and gain a sense of belonging. 4. Nurture your support network. Show appreciation. Express gratitude and appreciation for the support you receive. Acknowledging the contributions of others strengthens your relationships. Be supportive in return. Offer your support and assistance to others in your network. Being there for others creates a reciprocal relationship that benefits everyone involved. 5. Set boundaries. Respect your needs. While it's important to maintain connections, it's equally crucial to set boundaries that protect your emotional well-being. Communicate your limits and prioritize self-care when needed. Encourage healthy boundaries in others. Respect the boundaries of others in your support network. Encourage a balanced and healthy dynamic where everyone's needs are considered. Integrating support systems into daily life. To make the most of your support network, integrate these connections into your daily routine. Here are some practical tips. Schedule regular check-ins. Set aside time each week to check in with friends, family, and mentors. Regular communication helps maintain strong relationships. Engage in shared activities. Participate in activities that you enjoy with your support network. Shared experiences can strengthen bonds and create positive memories. Be present and attentive. When interacting with your support network, be fully present and attentive. Show genuine interest in their lives and offer your support when needed. By building and nurturing a strong support network, you can enhance your emotional resilience and better navigate life's challenges. These connections provide the foundation for emotional strength, offering comfort, guidance, and a sense of belonging. With a robust support system in place, you are better equipped to face adversity and maintain emotional balance. Conclusion Strengthening Your Emotional Foundation As we conclude this chapter on building emotional resilience, it's clear that cultivating resilience is essential for navigating life's inevitable challenges and setbacks. By developing a resilient mindset, managing stress effectively, and nurturing strong support systems, you can enhance your ability to bounce back from adversity and maintain emotional well-being. Let's recap the key strategies discussed in this chapter. Recap of Key Strategies 1. Resilience Mindset Embracing Challenges and Learning from Failures Develop a growth mindset that views challenges as opportunities for growth. Learn from failures and setbacks by seeing them as valuable feedback. Cultivate optimism and perseverance to stay motivated during difficult times. 2. Stress Management Techniques for Maintaining Emotional Balance Practice mindfulness and relaxation techniques to stay present and reduce stress. Engage in regular physical activity to boost mood and relieve tension. Make healthy lifestyle choices, including balanced nutrition and adequate sleep. Use effective time management and organizational skills to reduce overwhelm. Reframe negative thoughts and focus on positive aspects of life to shift your mindset. 3. Support Systems Building strong connections. Cultivate close relationships with friends and family through open communication and shared activities. Seek out mentors and role models for guidance and support. Join support groups and communities to connect with like minded individuals. Nurture your support network by showing appreciation and offering reciprocal support. Set and respect boundaries to maintain healthy and balanced relationships. Looking ahead, empathy, and social awareness. With a solid foundation in emotional resilience, 
we are now ready to explore the next crucial aspect of emotional intelligence, empathy and social awareness. In the upcoming chapter, we will plunge into the importance of understanding and empathizing with others' emotions. Developing empathy and social awareness not only enhances your relationships, but also contributes to a more compassionate and connected world. Join us in the next chapter as we continue this journey toward greater emotional intelligence. By building on the resilience skills you've learned, you can further enrich your personal and professional relationships, fostering a deeper sense of empathy and connection with those around you. Together, let's continue to strengthen our emotional foundation and create a life filled with balance, understanding, and fulfillment. Chapter 5. Cultivating Empathy and Social Awareness Empathy and social awareness are essential components of emotional intelligence, playing a crucial role in how we connect with others. Understanding and empathizing with the emotions of those around us can significantly enhance our personal and professional relationships. By fostering empathy, we can create deeper, more meaningful connections, improve communication, and build stronger, more supportive communities. Empathy is the ability to understand and share the feelings of others. It involves putting ourselves in someone else's shoes, seeing the world from their perspective, and responding with compassion and care. This capacity for empathy strengthens our relationships by fostering trust, reducing conflicts, and promoting cooperation. In this chapter, we will explore the role of empathy in human connections and its profound impact on our interactions. We will begin by discussing techniques to enhance your ability to understand and share the feelings of others. Next, we will dive into the importance of active listening in building empathy and improving communication. Finally, we will examine how to recognize and interpret social cues, such as nonverbal signals and emotional expressions, to navigate social interactions more effectively. By the end of this chapter, you will have a deeper understanding of empathy and social awareness and practical strategies to cultivate these skills. These tools will empower you to connect more deeply with others, enrich your relationships, and create a more empathetic and understanding environment in both your personal and professional life. Let's embark on this journey to enhance our empathy and social awareness, laying the foundation for stronger, more compassionate connections. Walking in their shoes. Techniques for developing empathy. Understanding and sharing emotions. Empathy is the cornerstone of meaningful human connections. It enables us to understand and share the feelings of others, fostering deeper relationships and promoting compassion. Developing empathy requires intentional practice and a genuine desire to connect with others on an emotional level. Here are some effective techniques to enhance your ability to empathize with those around you. 1. Practice active listening. Active listening is the foundation of empathy. It involves fully focusing on the speaker, understanding their message, and responding thoughtfully. Here's how to practice active listening. Give your full attention, eliminate distractions and focus entirely on the person speaking. Make eye contact, nod, and use verbal affirmations to show you are engaged. Reflect and clarify. Paraphrase what the speaker has said to ensure you understand their message. Ask clarifying questions if something is unclear. Avoid interrupting. Allow the speaker to finish their thoughts without interrupting. This shows respect and allows them to express their feelings fully. 2. Cultivate curiosity and open-mindedness. Being curious and open-minded helps you understand different perspectives and experiences. Approach conversations with a genuine interest in learning about others' thoughts and feelings. Ask open-ended questions. Encourage others to share more about their experiences by asking questions like, How did that make you feel? Or can you tell me more about that? Suspend judgment. Avoid making assumptions or judgments about others' experiences. Instead, try to understand their perspective without imposing your own beliefs. 3. Use imaginative role-playing. Role-playing can help you put yourself in someone else's shoes and gain insight into their emotional experiences. This technique involves imagining yourself in a situation that another person is facing. Visualize their experience, 
Take a moment to visualize yourself in the other person's situation. Consider how you might feel, think, and react. Reflect on similar experiences. Think about times when you have felt similar emotions. Reflecting on your own experiences can help you connect with others' feelings more deeply. 4. Practice mindfulness and self-awareness. Mindfulness and self-awareness enhance your ability to tune into your own emotions and the emotions of others. Being present and aware allows you to respond to others with greater empathy. Mindfulness Meditation Practice mindfulness meditation to increase your awareness of the present moment and your own emotional state. This practice helps you become more attuned to the emotions of those around you. Emotional Check-ins Regularly check in with yourself to identify and understand your own emotions. This self-awareness enables you to empathize with others more effectively. 5. Foster Emotional Literacy Enhancing your emotional vocabulary can improve your ability to recognize and articulate emotions, both in yourself and others. Understanding a wide range of emotions allows for deeper empathy. Expand your emotional vocabulary. Learn and use specific terms to describe emotions. Instead of just saying happy or sad, use words like elated, content, disappointed, or heartbroken. Express your own emotions. Share your feelings with others and encourage them to do the same. Open communication about emotions fosters mutual understanding and empathy. 6. Engage in empathetic communication. Empathetic communication involves expressing understanding and compassion in your interactions. This approach strengthens connections and builds trust. Validate feelings. Acknowledge and validate the other person's emotions. Statements like I can see how that would be upsetting or it sounds like you're feeling really stressed show empathy and support. Offer support. Show that you are there for the other person. Offer assistance or simply be present to listen and provide comfort. 7. Practice perspective taking. Perspective taking is the ability to see things from another person's viewpoint. This skill helps you understand their emotions and reactions more deeply. Consider their background. Think about the person's background, experiences, and current circumstances. How might these factors influence their feelings and behavior? Imagine different scenarios. Reflect on how you might feel and react if you were in their situation. This exercise helps you appreciate their perspective and emotions. By incorporating these techniques into your daily interactions, you can develop a stronger capacity for empathy. Understanding and sharing the feelings of others enriches your relationships, enhances your social interactions, and fosters a more compassionate and connected world. Listening with Heart The Art of Active Listening The Importance of Active Listening Active listening is a fundamental skill that significantly enhances empathy and communication. By fully engaging with the speaker, you can better understand their emotions, needs, and perspectives. Active listening not only improves your relationships, but also fosters a deeper connection and trust. Here's how you can master the art of active listening to build empathy and improve communication. Key Elements of Active Listening 1. Give your full attention. Eliminate distractions. Ensure you are in an environment where you can focus entirely on the speaker. Put away your phone, turn off the TV, and minimize other distractions. Maintain eye contact. Making eye contact shows that you are fully present and engaged in the conversation. It helps establish a connection and makes the speaker feel valued and heard. 2. Show that you are listening. Use nonverbal cues. Nod, smile, and use other facial expressions to show that you are following along. These cues signal to the speaker that you are attentive and interested in what they are saying. Encourage with verbal cues. Use small verbal affirmations such as I see, aha, uh -huh, and I understand to encourage the speaker to continue sharing. 3. Reflect and clarify. Paraphrase and summarize. Reflect back what the speaker has said by paraphrasing their words. For example, so what I'm hearing is that you're feeling frustrated because... This shows that you understand their message and allows for any necessary corrections. 
Ask open-ended questions. Encourage deeper exploration by asking open-ended questions. For instance, can you tell me more about that? Or how did that make you feel? This invites the speaker to elaborate and share more details. 4. Avoid interrupting. Let them finish. Resist the urge to interrupt or finish the speaker's sentences. Allow them to express their thoughts fully before you respond. This demonstrates respect and patience. Pause before responding. Take a moment to think before you respond. This shows that you are considering their words carefully and are not rushing to give your opinion or advice. 5. Respond thoughtfully. Validate their feelings. Acknowledge the speaker's emotions and experiences. Say things like, it sounds like you're really upset about this, or I can see why that would be challenging. Validation shows empathy and support. Provide constructive feedback. When appropriate, offer your insights or advice in a supportive and non-judgmental manner. Ensure your feedback is constructive and focuses on helping the speaker. Benefits of active listening. 1. Enhances empathy. Active listening deepens your understanding of others' emotions and perspectives. By fully engaging with the speaker, you can better appreciate their experiences and respond with empathy. This strengthens your emotional connection and fosters mutual respect and trust. 2. Improves communication. Effective communication relies on both speaking and listening. Active listening ensures that you accurately understand the speaker's message, reducing misunderstandings and conflicts. It also encourages open and honest dialogue, enhancing the overall quality of your interactions. 3. Builds stronger relationships. Active listening shows that you value and respect the speaker, which can strengthen your personal and professional relationships. It creates a supportive and trusting environment where individuals feel heard and understood. 4. Promotes personal growth. Practicing active listening helps you develop greater patience, focus, and empathy. These skills not only improve your interactions with others, but also contribute to your personal growth and emotional intelligence. Integrating active listening into daily life. To make active listening a regular part of your interactions, try the following. Practice mindfulness. Being present in the moment enhances your ability to listen actively. Mindfulness practices can help you stay focused and attentive during conversations. Set intentions. Before engaging in a conversation, set the intention to listen actively. Remind yourself of the importance of giving your full attention and responding thoughtfully. Reflect on your listening skills. After conversations, take a moment to reflect on your listening skills. Consider what went well and what could be improved, and strive to apply these insights in future interactions. By mastering the art of active listening, you can build deeper empathy and improve your communication skills. This not only enhances your relationships, but also creates a more compassionate and understanding environment in both your personal and professional life. Reading between the lines. Mastering social cues. The importance of social cues. Social cues, which include nonverbal signals and emotional expressions, play a critical role in communication. They provide valuable information about a person's feelings, intentions, and reactions, often conveying more than words alone. Being able to recognize and interpret these cues enhances your empathy and social awareness, improving your interactions and relationships. Key social cues to recognize and interpret. 1. Facial expressions. Facial expressions are one of the most direct ways people communicate their emotions. Learning to read these expressions can help you understand how others feel and respond appropriately. Happiness. Look for smiles, raised cheeks, and bright eyes. Genuine smiles often involve the eyes as well as the mouth. Sadness. Notice frowns, downturned lips, and teary eyes. Sadness might also be reflected in a distant or unfocused gaze. Anger. Watch for furrowed brows, narrowed eyes, and tight lips. Flared nostrils and a tense jaw can also indicate anger. Surprise. 
Look for raised eyebrows, wide open eyes, and an open mouth. Surprise is often a fleeting expression. Disgust. Notice a wrinkled nose, raised upper lip, and a look of distaste. Disgust may also be accompanied by a turned-away head. 2. Body language. Body language encompasses a wide range of physical behaviors and movements that convey emotions and attitudes. Understanding body language can help you gauge someone's comfort level and engagement. Posture. An open and relaxed posture typically indicates comfort and openness, while crossed arms and legs might suggest defensiveness or discomfort. Gestures. Hand movements, such as waving, pointing, or fidgeting, can convey a variety of messages. Open gestures with palms up can indicate honesty and openness, while clenched fists might signal anger. Proximity. The distance someone maintains from you can indicate their level of comfort. Standing too close may be perceived as aggressive, while standing too far may indicate disinterest or discomfort. Touch. Physical contact, such as a pat on the back or a hug, can convey support and affection. Be mindful of cultural differences and personal boundaries regarding touch. 3. Eye contact. Eye contact is a powerful nonverbal cue that can communicate a range of emotions and intentions. It plays a crucial role in building connection and trust. Engagement. Steady eye contact often indicates interest and engagement in the conversation. Discomfort. Avoiding eye contact can suggest discomfort, nervousness, or dishonesty. However, cultural differences should be considered, as some cultures view prolonged eye contact as rude. Dominance. Intense or prolonged eye contact can sometimes be perceived as a challenge or assertion of dominance. 4. Vocal tone and pace. The way someone speaks, including their tone, pitch, and pace, can provide insights into their emotional state and intentions. Tone of voice. A warm and calm tone can convey friendliness and comfort, while a sharp or harsh tone might indicate irritation or anger. Pitch. A higher pitch may suggest excitement or anxiety, while a lower pitch can indicate calmness or seriousness. Pace. Rapid speech can indicate nervousness or enthusiasm, while slow speech might suggest thoughtfulness or hesitation. 5. Microexpressions. Microexpressions are brief, involuntary facial expressions that reveal true emotions, often occurring in less than a second. Recognizing microexpressions can help you detect underlying feelings that someone might be trying to conceal. Training. Learning to identify microexpressions can be challenging but beneficial. There are training programs and resources available to help you develop this skill. Observation. Pay close attention to fleeting facial expressions during conversations. These quick glimpses can provide additional context to the speaker's true emotions. Improving your ability to read social cues. 1. Practice observing. Regularly practice observing people's nonverbal behaviors in different settings. Notice how facial expressions, body language, and other cues align with their verbal communication. Over time, you'll become more adept at interpreting these signals. 2. Reflect on interactions. After social interactions, take a moment to reflect on the nonverbal cues you noticed and how they influenced the conversation. Consider how accurately you interpreted these cues and what you could improve. 3. Seek feedback. Ask trusted friends or colleagues for feedback on your ability to read social cues. They can provide insights into areas where you excel and where you might need more practice. 4. Increase emotional intelligence. Developing your overall emotional intelligence will enhance your ability to recognize and interpret social cues. This includes improving your self-awareness, self-regulation, motivation, empathy, and social skills. 5. Be culturally sensitive. Remember that social cues can vary significantly across cultures. Educate yourself about cultural differences in nonverbal communication to avoid misunderstandings and to interact more effectively with people from diverse backgrounds. By mastering the art of recognizing and interpreting social cues, 
you can significantly enhance your empathy and social awareness. This skill will improve your communication, deepen your relationships, and enable you to navigate social interactions with greater ease and understanding. Conclusion The Heart of Connection As we conclude this chapter on cultivating empathy and social awareness, it's clear that these skills are fundamental to building meaningful and fulfilling relationships. Understanding and empathizing with others' emotions enhances both personal and professional interactions, creating a more compassionate and connected world. Key Takeaways 1. Developing Empathy Empathy involves understanding and sharing the feelings of others. Techniques such as active listening, imaginative role-playing, and practicing mindfulness can enhance your empathetic abilities, allowing you to connect more deeply with those around you. 2. Active Listening Active listening is crucial for effective communication and empathy. By giving your full attention, showing that you are listening, reflecting and clarifying, avoiding interruptions, and responding thoughtfully, you can improve your ability to understand and relate to others. 3. Recognizing Social Cues Social cues, including facial expressions, body language, eye contact, vocal tone, and micro-expressions, provide valuable insights into others' emotions and intentions. By honing your ability to recognize and interpret these cues, you can navigate social interactions more effectively and empathetically. Looking ahead. Maintaining emotional balance. Empathy and social awareness are vital for connecting with others, but maintaining emotional balance is equally important for personal well-being. In the next chapter, we will explore strategies to sustain emotional equilibrium amidst the challenges of daily life. By learning how to manage your emotions effectively, you can enhance your resilience, improve your mental health, and continue to cultivate strong, empathetic relationships. Join us in the next chapter as we look at practical techniques for maintaining emotional balance, ensuring that you can thrive both personally and socially. Together, we'll build a comprehensive toolkit for achieving emotional mastery and fostering a more harmonious life. Chapter 6 – Maintaining Emotional Balance in Daily Life In the hustle and bustle of daily life, maintaining emotional balance can often seem like a challenging feat. Yet, achieving and sustaining this balance is essential for overall well-being and productivity. Emotional balance allows us to navigate life's ups and downs with greater ease, enhancing our ability to cope with stress, build stronger relationships, and stay focused on our goals. This final chapter provides practical tips for sustaining emotional balance amidst the challenges of daily life. By incorporating daily practices, managing work-life balance, and prioritizing self-care, you can create a stable emotional foundation that supports both your personal and professional growth. These strategies will help you cultivate a sense of inner peace and resilience, enabling you to thrive in all aspects of your life. As we explore the importance of emotional balance and the various techniques to achieve it, you will gain valuable insights and tools to maintain stability even in the most demanding circumstances. Let's embark on this journey towards a more balanced and fulfilling life, equipped with the knowledge and practices to sustain emotional well-being every day. Steady Habits – Daily Practices for Emotional Stability Incorporating Daily Habits for Emotional Stability Maintaining emotional balance starts with integrating consistent, positive habits into your daily routine. These practices help build a stable emotional foundation, enhancing your overall well-being and resilience. By consciously incorporating habits that promote emotional stability, you can navigate life's challenges with greater ease and confidence. Here are some daily practices to consider. 1. Mindfulness and Meditation Start with mindfulness. Begin your day with a few minutes of mindfulness meditation. Sit quietly, focus on your breath, and observe your thoughts without judgment. This practice helps center your mind and sets a calm tone for the day. Practice throughout the day. Incorporate mindfulness into daily activities, such as eating, walking, or even working. Pay full attention to the task at hand, bringing your mind back to the present whenever it wanders. 2. Gratitude Journaling Daily Gratitude List Take a few minutes each day to write down three things you are grateful for. 
This simple practice can shift your focus from what's going wrong to what's going right, promoting a positive mindset. Reflect on positive moments. At the end of the day, reflect on positive experiences or moments of joy. This reflection can help reinforce a sense of contentment and appreciation. 3. Physical Activity Regular exercise. Engage in physical activity that you enjoy, whether it's jogging, yoga, dancing, or a sport. Regular exercise releases endorphins, reducing stress and improving your mood. Active breaks. Incorporate short, active breaks throughout your day, especially if you have a sedentary job. Stretching, walking, or even a quick workout can refresh your mind and body. 4. Balanced Nutrition Healthy eating habits. Maintain a balanced diet rich in fruits, vegetables, whole grains, lean proteins, and healthy fats. Proper nutrition supports overall physical and emotional health. Hydration. Drink plenty of water throughout the day. Staying hydrated is crucial for maintaining energy levels and cognitive function. 5. Sleep Hygiene. Consistent sleep schedule. Aim for 7 to 9 hours of sleep each night and try to go to bed and wake up at the same time every day, even on weekends. A consistent sleep schedule regulates your body's internal clock and improves sleep quality. Relaxing bedtime routine. Develop a calming pre-sleep routine, such as reading, taking a warm bath, or practicing gentle yoga. Avoid screens and stimulating activities before bedtime to promote better sleep. 6. Emotional check-ins. Regular self-assessment. Set aside time each day to check in with yourself emotionally. Ask yourself how you're feeling and why. This practice helps you stay aware of your emotional state and address any issues early. Journaling. Use a journal to explore your thoughts and feelings in greater depth. Writing about your emotions can provide clarity and insight, helping you process and manage them more effectively. 7. Connection and Social Interaction Daily Social Interaction Make time each day to connect with friends, family, or colleagues. Meaningful social interactions can boost your mood and provide emotional support. Acts of Kindness Engage in small acts of kindness, such as complimenting someone or helping a colleague. Acts of kindness can enhance your sense of connection and well-being. 8. Relaxation technique. Deep breathing exercises. Practice deep breathing exercises to calm your mind and body. Deep breathing can be particularly helpful during stressful moments. Progressive muscle relaxation. Use progressive muscle relaxation techniques to reduce physical tension and promote relaxation. This involves tensing and then relaxing each muscle group in your body. By incorporating these daily practices into your routine, you can build a solid foundation for emotional stability. These habits not only help you manage stress and maintain balance, but also enhance your overall quality of life. Balancing Act Navigating Emotions in Personal and Professional Life Strategies for Managing Emotions in Both Spheres Achieving a healthy work-life balance is crucial for maintaining emotional stability and overall well-being. Juggling personal and professional responsibilities can be challenging, but with the right strategies, you can effectively manage your emotions in both areas. Here are some techniques to help you navigate the complexities of work and personal life while maintaining emotional balance. 1. Set Boundaries Define clear boundaries. Establish clear boundaries between work and personal time. This includes setting specific work hours and sticking to them, ensuring you have dedicated time for relaxation and personal activities. Communicate boundaries. Clearly communicate your boundaries to colleagues, supervisors, and family members. Let them know when you are available and when you are not, so they respect your personal time. 2. Prioritize and delegate. Identify priorities. Determine what tasks are most important and focus on completing them first. This helps prevent overwhelm and ensures that you are dedicating your energy to what matters most. Delegate tasks. Don't be afraid to delegate tasks at work and home. Delegating can lighten your load and allow you to focus on high-priority responsibilities. 
3. Practice time management. Plan your day. Start each day by planning your schedule. Use tools like calendars, to-do lists, and time-blocking techniques to organize your tasks and manage your time effectively. Avoid multitasking. Focus on one task at a time to increase productivity and reduce stress. Multitasking can lead to mistakes and heighten stress levels. 4. Take breaks. Regular breaks. Schedule regular breaks throughout your workday to rest and recharge. Short breaks can improve focus and prevent burnout. Lunch breaks. Make sure to take a proper lunch break away from your workspace. Use this time to relax, eat a healthy meal, and refresh your mind. 5. Create a supportive work environment. Build positive relationships. Foster positive relationships with colleagues and supervisors. A supportive work environment can reduce stress and increase job satisfaction. Seek feedback. Regularly seek feedback on your performance and areas for improvement. Constructive feedback can help you grow professionally and manage work-related stress more effectively. 6. Incorporate flexibility. Flexible work arrangements. If possible, explore flexible work arrangements such as remote work, flexible hours, or compressed work weeks. Flexibility can help you better manage personal and professional responsibilities. Adaptability. Cultivate adaptability by being open to changes and unexpected challenges. Being flexible can help you handle stress and maintain emotional balance. 7. Mindfulness and Stress Management. Mindfulness Practices. Incorporate mindfulness practices into your daily routine to stay present and reduce stress. Techniques such as deep breathing, meditation, and mindful walking can help you stay grounded. Stress Reduction Techniques Use stress reduction techniques such as progressive muscle relaxation, visualization, and aromatherapy to manage stress and promote relaxation. 8. Ensure quality time for personal life. Engage in hobbies. Make time for hobbies and activities that you enjoy outside of work. Engaging in enjoyable activities can boost your mood and provide a sense of fulfillment. Quality time with loved ones. Spend quality time with family and friends. Building strong personal relationships provides emotional support and enhances your well-being. 9. Self-reflection and assessment. Regular self-reflection. Take time to reflect on your work-life balance regularly. Assess what is working and what needs adjustment to maintain a healthy balance. Set personal and professional goals. Set achievable goals for both your personal and professional life. Having clear goals can provide direction and motivation. 10. Seek professional support if needed. Professional counseling. If you are struggling to maintain emotional balance, consider seeking support from a professional counselor or therapist. They can provide guidance and strategies tailored to your needs. Employee Assistance Programs Many organizations offer employee assistance programs, EAPs, that provide resources and support for managing stress and achieving work-life balance. By implementing these strategies, you can create a harmonious balance between your personal and professional life, effectively managing your emotions in both spheres. This balanced approach will not only enhance your emotional well-being, but also increase your overall productivity and satisfaction. Nurturing Yourself – The Essential Role of Self-Care The Importance of Self-Care for Emotional Health Self-care is a vital practice for maintaining emotional health and overall well-being. It involves intentionally taking time to nurture yourself, both physically and emotionally. By prioritizing self-care, you can manage stress more effectively, enhance your emotional resilience, and prevent burnout. Here are some key strategies to incorporate self-care into your daily routine. 1. Prioritize physical health. Regular exercise. Engage in physical activities that you enjoy, such as walking, swimming, cycling, or yoga. Regular exercise releases endorphins, reduces stress, and improves mood. Balance nutrition. Eat a well-balanced diet rich in fruits, vegetables, whole grains, lean proteins, and healthy fats. 
Proper nutrition fuels your body and supports emotional stability. Adequate sleep. Ensure you get 7 to 9 hours of quality sleep each night. A consistent sleep routine helps regulate your mood, improve cognitive function, and maintain overall health. 2. Mental and Emotional Wellness Mindfulness Practices Incorporate mindfulness techniques, such as meditation, deep breathing, or progressive muscle relaxation, into your daily routine. These practices help you stay present and manage stress. Emotional Check-ins Regularly check in with yourself to assess your emotional state. Journaling or talking with a trusted friend or therapist can help you process and manage your emotions. Positive Affirmations Use positive affirmations to boost your self-esteem and reinforce a positive mindset. Statements like I am capable or I deserve to take care of myself can be powerful motivators. 3. Leisure and Recreation Engage in hobbies. Make time for activities that bring you joy and relaxation, whether it's reading, gardening, painting, or playing a musical instrument. Hobbies provide a healthy distraction from stress and a sense of accomplishment. Social connections. Spend quality time with friends and family. Social interactions can provide emotional support, reduce feelings of isolation, and improve your overall well-being. Nature and outdoors. Spend time in nature, whether it's hiking, walking in the park, or simply sitting outside. Nature has a calming effect and can help rejuvenate your mind and body. 4. Setting Boundaries Learn to say no. Recognize your limits and don't be afraid to say no to commitments that overwhelm you. Setting boundaries protects your time and energy. Schedule downtime. Intentionally schedule time for rest and relaxation. Make downtime a non-negotiable part of your routine to recharge and prevent burnout. Digital Detox. Take breaks from digital devices to reduce screen time and mental clutter. Unplugging can help you reconnect with yourself and the present moment. 5. Professional Help and Support. Therapy and Counseling. Consider seeing a therapist or counselor to work through emotional challenges and develop coping strategies. Professional support can provide valuable insights and tools for managing stress. Support Groups. Join support groups or communities where you can share experiences and receive encouragement from others facing similar challenges. 6. Personal Development. Lifelong Learning. Engage in activities that stimulate your mind and promote personal growth. This could include taking a class, reading books, or learning a new skill. Reflective Practices. Spend time reflecting on your values, goals, and progress. Reflection helps you stay aligned with your aspirations and maintain a sense of purpose. 7. Incorporating self-care into your routine. Create a self-care plan. Develop a self-care plan that outlines specific activities and practices you will incorporate into your routine. Regularly review and adjust your plan as needed. Make self-care a priority. Treat self-care as a non-negotiable part of your daily schedule. Recognize that taking care of yourself is essential for maintaining your emotional health and overall well-being. Stay consistent. Consistency is key to effective self-care. Regularly practice the activities and strategies that work best for you, and be patient with yourself as you develop new habits. By prioritizing self-care, you can maintain emotional health and resilience, enabling you to handle life's challenges with greater ease. These practices not only enhance your well-being, but also empower you to support others more effectively. Self-care is not a luxury. It is a necessity for a balanced and fulfilling life. Conclusion Harmonizing Life's Demands As we conclude this chapter on maintaining emotional balance in daily life, it's essential to recognize the importance of integrating practical strategies into your routine. By doing so, you can navigate the complexities of modern life with grace and resilience. Let's recap the key points discussed. Key Points Recap 1. Daily Practices Incorporating daily habits and routines that promote emotional stability. Establishing mindful practices such as meditation and gratitude journaling can create a foundation for emotional well-being. Engaging in regular physical activity, 
maintaining a balanced diet, and ensuring quality sleep are critical for overall emotional health. Incorporating emotional check-ins and social interactions into your routine helps sustain emotional balance. 2. Work-Life Balance Strategies for Managing Emotions in Both Personal and Professional Spheres Setting clear boundaries between work and personal life helps prevent burnout and promotes emotional stability. Effective time management, prioritizing tasks, and delegating responsibilities are essential for balancing demands in both areas. Fostering a supportive work environment and ensuring quality time for personal activities enhances overall well-being. 3. Self-care. Emphasizing the role of self-care in maintaining emotional health. Prioritizing physical health through regular exercise, balanced nutrition, and adequate sleep is vital for emotional resilience. Engaging in activities that bring joy and relaxation, such as hobbies and social interactions, supports emotional health. Setting boundaries, seeking professional support when needed, and focusing on personal development are crucial for sustaining emotional balance. Looking ahead. Moving forward with emotional mastery. As we prepare to conclude mastering your emotions, it is important to remember that maintaining emotional balance is an ongoing journey. This book has provided you with the knowledge and tools necessary to understand, regulate, and harness your emotions for personal and professional growth. Moving forward, apply these strategies consistently to enhance your emotional intelligence, improve your relationships, and achieve a balanced, fulfilling life. Every step you take towards emotional mastery is a step towards a happier, more empowered you. Embrace this journey with confidence and compassion, and watch how your life transforms for the better. As you continue to practice these techniques, you will find greater ease in navigating life's challenges and maintaining a harmonious balance amidst its demands. Conclusion Embracing the Journey to Emotional Mastery As we bring mastering your emotions to a close, it's vital to remember that the journey of emotional mastery is ongoing. This book has provided you with valuable insights and practical tools to help you understand, regulate, and harness your emotions for personal and professional growth. By consistently applying these strategies, you can enhance your emotional intelligence, strengthen your relationships, and create a balanced, fulfilling life. Every step you take towards mastering your emotions brings you closer to a happier, more empowered self. Embrace this journey with confidence and compassion, and watch as your life transforms in meaningful ways. Each challenge you face and overcome will contribute to your growth, resilience, and emotional strength. As you continue on this path, remember that emotional mastery is not about perfection but about progress. Celebrate your successes, learn from your experiences, and keep moving forward with determination and optimism. You have the power to shape your emotional landscape and create a life filled with balance, joy, and fulfillment. Thank you for listening to Mastering Your Emotions. The Better Life Library appreciates your commitment to personal growth and emotional well-being. We hope this book has inspired and empowered you to take charge of your emotions and live a more vibrant and connected life. Embrace your journey with an open heart, and may you continue to thrive in all areas of your life.